Got another YouTube video. Well, actually, really just the first YouTube video in a minute. Um, I got the AC in the background. I got the car going. Uh, I'm really going to just throw this Kendrick Lamar video uh, slash new song. Uh, I don't know how this is going to go. I don't like this format, obviously. But, uh, bro, I work 9. I work 8 to 5.30, so I don't have a ton of time to do this otherwise. So I'm just getting this knocked out, and uh, we're going to go from there and see what happens. Um Audio quality is going to be ass playing right now. You know, I hope you guys stick around. Hope I can do some quality reps to this. I, I don't know what I'm even expecting, bro. There's no precursor. I mean, I've seen it came out two days ago, so now I've seen um, that is teasing. Um, got a fucking stain right there. Uh, it's teasing like some sense of unity with uh, other black legends, uh, or at least infamous black people as well. Um, I don't know. So I'm about to just throw it on. You know, All right, fuck it. We'll just, I'm, I'm cut this out and, and post edit. Anyway, um, uh, <laughs> I don't know why it's not showing my shit, but whatever. All right. So I'm just going to watch it. Uh, y'all will be there within me with, with spirit and spirit. Uh, my audio, I think he's hand or feet. I think he's hand. Anyway, I'm, I'm still recording. Holy shit. Let's go. Oh, this is going to be lagging the motherfucker. Okay. I'm watching the video. I can hear it. I'm not passing the audio through. So Kendrick's sitting here looking like a, a girl that didn't get his way. A little girl that didn't get his way. Pouting. I like the hairstyle. He's been letting it grow out for the past five years, I can tell. I heard a Marvin Gaye sample that got cleared for this. I don't know if that's what I'm hearing right now. I'm 26 seconds in right now if you want to follow along, I guess. Okay. He's taking his feelings right now. Okay. It, very spoken poem vibes type. That beat is crazy. Yeah, that Marvin Gay sample is nuts. I don't know who produces, but it's just hard. God damn. Very funky. Funky, jazzy. I don't know if you got some Thundercat on this or what. Thundercat Flying Lotus. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, I know you're switching faces, but... Oh, that was clean. You did the little... Oh, that's... Deep fake shit is crazy. That's young Orenthal James Simpson. Oh, Kanye. Oh, he's rapping as them. Is he rapping in their their perspective? Hold up. Bulletproof Rover. Okay. That's what's the Kanye's he said, friends about Polo is crazy. Him saying Pierre uh Pierre's get executed. Uh I mean we have three people who've went through like having their reputation just Demolished in the uh, public eye in Orenthal, James Simpson, Kanye, and uh, Jim Jesse Smollett. All right, so it switches back to himself. The f Will Smith. I mean, the fact that like this motherfucker has been rapping about social issues within um, his own general area, as well as uh, I mean, literally from his porch to like a larger macro Black America sense, and he's still finding ways to uh, invent. Uh, approach that topic differently. It's fucking incredible. I got like eight minutes left. I gotta get this shit wrapped up. And a land where hurt people hurt more people, fuck calling the culture. That's something simple, but I like I like that little piece. And then he switched to Will Smith as he has said that line. That's pretty cool. I mean the times he switched I definitely think it makes sense. Look what I've done for you, written purpose to the hood. Okay. This definitely feels like smoke, uh, spoken po uh, poem. You can like, go to a slam club and see someone spit some of these lines. Especially as cadence, kind of the way he's moving on the, the um, throughout the video. This flow is a fucking nuts on this.
There's like no filler bars in this either. Sometimes you have Kendrick. I guess why people love the Nipsey parts. The Nipsey parts are definitely the most thematically um, tied into the uh, the faceful aspect. Turn over in Nip Seal. Yeah, it doesn't put a lot more focus on the Nip part of this than the rest of this, which is perfectly fine because he's saying quite a bit there in that part of it. Um, I got to go back into work pretty soon, but uh, that was that was great. Uh, that was that was that was fantastic. Um, one thing I was going to say is that. Um, a lot of um, a lot of times when I have a someone really you know beating the drum like a Kendrick song, I guess some filler bars that sound technically impressive, but like they don't really say anything. Um, and some people's complaints, not mine per se, but some people's complaints that a lot of Kendrick songs have like you know words that are engaging when you hear them, how they're being said, but like they aren't. You know, like you separate them on, the, on their own and just read them. They're like not that interesting. I feel like every bar he said here pretty much, but for the most part, uh, shit people need to hear, so to speak. Uh, I can't really go too much deeper into this. <laughs> Special thanks, Matt Stone, Trey Parker, and Deep Voodoo. Uh, I'm going to come back to this, get some really, you know, pungent uh, post listen thoughts. Probably running back a few more times. Uh, but I thought that was great, really. I roll past and I play shard like doo doo. I hate y'all when a beef cook. 